Ruby's over here, Ruby. <laughs> well, relaxed performance is very much what the name suggests. It's relaxed. It means that people that might find it uncomfortable going to the concert hall with the perceived or otherwise strictures around uh, how you behave can come to these performances and, and simply enjoy the music. They can stand up, they can move around, they can make noises, they can go and uh, go to a quiet space. So with Chamber of Music New Zealand our vision is really to uh, offer beautiful music, high quality music to all New Zealanders. It's about an opportunity for our students to do something that they would never otherwise have the opportunity to do. We don't often get to go to concerts, to um, various things in the community because of maybe extra sound that might happen when our students are there. Um, the need for them to move, they're often very busy and they, they have sensory needs so they're unable to sit still or stay quiet. And this is an opportunity for them to get to engage with other people and experiences that most people in the community get to have, but they don't. So do you remember this guy called Charlie? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He was a great hunter. Because he went all over the world. Charlie over the ocean. Charlie over the ocean. Charlie over the sea. What can we do that's the easiest thing for us all to feel connected? Make some music together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So simple. Charlie over the sea. Charlie over the sea. Charlie called a puppy dog. Charlie called a puppy dog. You can't catch me. From a music therapist perspective, the lead up, the preparation time, the workshopping was where the great benefit was. As a therapist, process is, is what it's about. So having such a long process with people, especially Julian, who were just so welcoming of all the things that our students were able to bring, all the different musical um, interactions that happened and the ideas they gave out, he just took it all, worked with it all and for me it was the interaction, it was the social development that they made during that time. second workshop I did, somehow it got into, I wouldn't say a trance-like situation, but it kind of got into this sort of special feeling uh, where it was just so much fun to play. Um, it was great communicating and, and uh, bouncing off Julian's ideas. And uh, where you forget what's going on in the rest of the day, you forget that, you know, you've got to be at a meeting in an hour and also it's just, you went into this great space. Um, and I know, I, you know, as musicians, we don't know why that happens sometimes. We're a concert, just feels so special when you come off just with a, a buzz, you know, an excited sort of um, feeling. And that certainly happened. I was really like, wow, I was not expecting that to happen. And I think that can really also only happen when you are in that more relaxed environment, you know, where people aren't judging. And that's maybe what the, the students bring to us as a performer. They aren't judging us on how good we are or if we're as good a guitarist or singer or saxophone player as whoever they may have seen somewhere else. They're just on the experience, they're just enjoying and we're sharing and they're sharing with us. So that relationship uh, between the whole group is really uh, rare. We don't get that as a performer very often. So I thought that was really special. So we're trying to offer an alternative experience for people that find it really uh, challenging to sit quietly in a concert hall. I think a 
lot of uh, parents do worry about integrating their uh, their children's special needs into society, and and they often have to do an awful lot of thinking around going anywhere. It becomes almost overpoweringly, it becomes a chore. And um, that's something that we really want to um, take away. The parents know that they can come along. It's often at a time of day which suits everybody. They can relax. It's really great to see an organisation here in New Zealand that celebrates music at, it, at its highest quality, but also looking at how we can really celebrate involving everybody. Music, I think, adds to the quality of life of any individual. This, this was a, a good chance to, to bring music to a different uh, group of individuals um, so they can experience live music and uh, react to that. It was the first time this project that we introduced drumming as a, as a major element. Um, because they were sort of, I was working with sort of teenagers and I thought that would really be an, um, uh, an attractive element. When you're working with music, other things don't seem to matter. Language, disability or different abilities, they're, they're, they're not really factors that get in the way of, of making music. And what you do is you adapt your music to the group that you have with you. This project has been a really exciting chance for me to get to work with other people in the community again. And this was a chance to support the students in the school, um, to introduce them to something new and see the joy for the new experiences, but to also have that for myself. So to actually just be able to enjoy the music, enjoy the music making within a big group, because that's what it was about, was bringing everybody together. And while I was in there, I was doing my bit to support the students, all the staff were, but we were also participants in it. It is a real development opportunity for our musicians. They have really invested in this. By the end of it, they are really quite moved and they want to do more of this kind of work. This little piece, it's a minuet and trio. It's a bit of a dance, so it might be your chance. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a chance to just do my thing in perhaps a little bit less stressed environment where I could relax and just, and just make music, which is really what a musician should be doing anyway, is just making music for enjoyment of others. The musicians really feel invested in it as well, and they often say that it's something they have never experienced with other audiences, and they would love to do more. The performance itself is something for our students to really look forward to. It's something very exciting, it's something new, it's something different. And it's the chance for their parents and their families and their community to come in and be involved and to see them doing something different. This was an opportunity for our wider school community to actually come together in a way that had never happened for our school before. It was such a positive and exciting situation. Everyone was involved and active and it just, it's really enhanced the sense of school community. It was a reminder to me of the importance of music. We've sort of got quite uh, formal. Years ago, chamber music or concerts, they were in a social outing. And by doing concerts that are more accessible, um, I think everyone could enjoy classical music more. After the concert, that buzz didn't go for weeks. Some of the feedback, you know, it's just lovely. It, it brings tears to my eyes, how they say that 
they've never seen their, their child react the way they have uh, when the music starts playing. The workshops uh, are the, the, yeah, the main part of this process really. Um, and then the concert happens as a, as a culmination. The workshops are very much about making music really important um, and the way people engage with each other. And there, was a, there was a huge feeling of, of excitement and really relishing this idea of a whole community coming together to play music. Just like you would in, a, in an African village or somewhere you know, similar where, where, where music is part of, of, of a culture. The workshop for me was rewarding because you really felt connected with the students and you could really see the delight and the enjoyment that they were uh, experiencing. I think perhaps that was because the workshops were in their environment. Even though this wasn't a therapy project, there were definitely therapeutic benefits to it. We saw things that we didn't realise would happen and interactions that we didn't expect. People talk about music as a universal language. I, I like to use the phrase, um, it's a universal human activity. Music speaks where words can't. It has a sort of heightened emotional kind of uh, connection with people, I think.